Hey guys, welcome back to my video. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to get a private server in Fortnite. So this private server has every single cosmetic in the entire game, including skins and emotes, and it also has unreleased cosmetics and cosmetics that you cannot actually use in Battle Royale normally. And I know that a lot of you guys were saying that the other private servers that I made videos about in the past couple weeks have actually been patched or not working for you guys anymore. So I'm just making an updated video on EZFN to help you guys out. And let's try to hit a like goal of 150 likes on this video. If you guys have not liked the video already, make sure you guys do that. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel and you can get the latest updates on these private servers as they do get patched. So the first step to get this private server is you want to join the EZFN official Discord server and I'll have the link for this in the description. So just join that by clicking on it and then you want to scroll down to this channel called older clients and on this page you're going to see something called easy installer and this is the thing that you have to download next so all you have to do is just click on this button and it will download easy installer for you just like this and then once you have easy installer open it doesn't really matter where you put it you can just click on it and it will open up like this so once you open up Easy Installer, you'll see that there's a bunch of different numbers and Fortnite versions that you can download. So the version that I'm going to download is going to be version 14.6. So I have the version down here. This private server works all the way up to version 15, so you could just download the latest version of the game by just downloading this version. But I'm just going to be downloading version 14.6 because I want to try out Season 4. And again, this client lets you download anything all the way up to season two, which is version 2.5, and it lets you download every single season after that, all the way up to chapter two, season five, which is this version 15.3. So once you've figured out which version of Fortnite you wanna download, you wanna go over here and check on the side to check the number that corresponds with the one that you wanna download. So since I'm downloading version 14.6, I'll be downloading 132. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna just type in the version that you're gonna download. So since I'm downloading version 14.6 and it corresponds to 132, I'm just gonna type in 132 down here. And then you just wanna press on enter. So the next step is you wanna to go to your desktop. So once you're on your desktop, you just wanna right click and you wanna click on new and then do create a new folder. And then you wanna name the folder whatever you want. So I just named mine season 14. And once you've done that, it doesn't really matter what you name it, just leave that on your desktop. So the next step is you wanna double click on this and then you wanna make sure you have this folder view. Then you wanna just click on this bar right over here. And once you click it, it'll give you this path name. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy that and then you just wanna paste it into here. And if you already know how to get the path of your folder, you can just type it in, but this is just a lot easier. And if you press on enter, it'll start downloading the game to that folder. And then once it has downloaded, you'll have a folder like this with the entire Fortnite game in it. So for the next step, you gotta go to easyfn.dev and I'll have a link for this either in the description or the pinned comment. So if you go into this website and it says login up there, all you wanna do is simply log in by clicking on that button and entering in the required information over here. So now you guys can see that I am logged in. So once you're on this page, you'll see that it has a button called download the private server. So you just wanna click on that button, but before you do that, make sure you have your antivirus detections off because this will mess up the entire process. So you guys can just turn on your antivirus whenever you're not using this and then turn it off whenever you have to launch up the private server. So once you've disabled anything that you need to disable, you can simply click on download the private server. And then once you download it, it'll download to something like this called easyfnlauncher.exe. And the next thing I recommend to do, you guys do not have to do this, is you wanna go over to your desktop. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make a folder called easyfn. I'm just gonna name mine easyfn server. It doesn't really matter what you call it then you can want to drag that into there so once you're done with that you can simply just x out of the browser and then you can double click on this and then you can click on the ezfn launcher.exe so when you do that you guys are going to see something like this where it says enter in your launcher token so what you want to do is you want to click on get launcher token down here and make sure you're logged into the ezfn website when you do this as otherwise it will not work so simply click on your login token so you guys will see that there's a space that says token and you just want to copy this right over here and then you can just simply paste it into here and then just click on login and then once you log in, it'll come up with something like this. And you guys can see that there's a launch button over here. And then there's different things that you can change over here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to the lobby. And we want to change this to whatever lobby background you want. So I'm just going to change mine to season 16. Or you can also choose yours as World Cup. That also looks like a really cool background. So I'm going to choose World Cup because that is probably the best background out of all of them. And then in the settings, you can change your Fortnite path. So this is very important. You want to click on the Fortnite path right over here. You want to click on select. And then you want to select this desktop. Then you want to select this folder that we have on our desktop. And you want to click on OK. So I'm going to click on the 
season 14 folder right over here and then I just want to click on OK and then once you do that it will change the Fortnite path up here and then for the cosmetics URL if this is not already filled in and I'll have this link in the pinned comment for you guys to copy and paste into here so make sure that this is pasted in otherwise you will not have any cosmetics in your lobby and then the next thing you want to do is simply click on launch once you are ready And now you guys can see that the game is launching up and now you just have to wait until it logs you in and this can take up to three minutes so just be patient and do not click anything at all as it will log you in with the EZFN account that you already provided before. So simply just don't click on anything and just let it load. So you guys can see that I just got into the game so all I want to do is click on the play button in the battle royale screen. And you guys can see now I'm in the game completely. So in this lobby, you guys can see that I am level one and I have this amount of V-Bucks up here. And then you can have every single skin in the entire game. So if you go to your locker, you'll see that you have every single skin in the entire game, all the way up to chapter two, season four. And also we have this custom lobby background that we chose in the launcher. And you guys can always change this to whatever background that you want, including season 16. So that's pretty cool. And then also you have a custom news screen just to tell you to join the discord if you want to and then there's also a locker so of course in the locker we have every single skin like i said before and you guys have all the og skins every single default skin and then there's a few skins that are actually unreleased and they will never be released so over here we have a henchman and then these are some skins that are unreleased currently they've never been released into the game either they're henchmen or they're just unreleased skins so then show these things off to your friends if you want and you can see that you can equip any of these skins so we're just going to go through all of these skins and we're going to choose one of them so i'm just going to choose this henchman and once you equip it it will appear in the lobby just like this so there's some other unreleased skins that you can get and you can find them over here there's some star wars unreleased skins and these should be all like the henchmen from the star wars event and there's a ton of other ones so here's another one it's the doombot agent from season four and this is another henchman that will never be released and then if you want going you'll encounter the marauders and you can become any of the marauders in your lobby just like this so you can see i am now a marauder which is a completely unreleased skin and then there's a couple of other skins but i don't want to go too far because you guys can come and explore this yourself so the next thing I want to show you guys is going to be the backpacks. So there's every single backpack in the entire game. So you have to scroll down through here and you can equip any rarity, any type of backpack, any of the OG backpacks. So yeah, that is that. You can equip any of them. I'm just going to equip this backpack. And then there's a pickaxe. So it has like the Thor hammer, the Captain America shield, and a bunch of other things. So I'm just going to choose the shield. And then there's the gliders over here, so you can choose any of the gliders. I'm just gonna choose a random glider. And then same thing for the contrail. You can choose any contrail. And then for the emotes, you can choose any of the emotes. You can also use the built-in emotes from anything pre-season four. You cannot use any of these emotes because they require challenges to complete. Um, although you can use the venom one. The plus emotes sometimes are built in. So for example, this one is built in right over here. So you'll be able to use any of the built-in emotes, including this emote, and there's also this emote, and there's this emote, they're all built in, but you can use them on any skin because you're in a private server. So that's a cool thing to try out if you wanna try it out. And then there's other emote slots that you can obviously use to get any OG emotes, such as the floss. You get the OG floss over here. And then I'll show you guys these in the lobby. And then you can choose any OG skin. So I'm gonna do the Skull Trooper. And then if you choose the Skull Trooper, you can change the edit style to purple and you will have the purple Skull Trooper. And then you can do any emote that you want in the lobby. You can see I'm doing the purple Skull Trooper with the Go Get Go built-in emote. So that's pretty cool to use. All right guys, so that's the end of the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.